questions about the most important Torah or an English be back filming videos filming content I feel like I've taken a break from filming just because I was not in the right creative mindset with creating content I think I just wasn't inspired I felt like it was very forced I've been trying so hard to find my style of content creation and find myself through this as well. My mindset has just shifted a lot since I've been taking a kind of short hiatus from YouTube and focusing on my day-to-day -day life, my life with Patrick, my 9-to-5 job as an engineer. I'm super excited to be just feeling like myself on this platform, stepping away from trends and stepping away from videos that just aren't me and I think some of my videos I'm pretty unhappy with just because I feel like I was trying to fit this youtuber influencer mold but that's just not me I want to keep this as a hobby to be honest I love my nine to five job I love uh, my job as an engineer it's just it's something that I worked my whole life for and I think all the hard work that I put in college to get this degree and to have this job this dream job I am just so blessed with and I want to make sure I keep it that way and I want to keep my 9 to 5 job. It is a fun creative outlet for me and I want to enjoy it and I want to have fun with it and that's what my videos are going to be like from now on. I really want to just be very genuine and very honest and realistic with my videos. I don't want my videos to come off as like me trying to be something I'm not and in all honesty some of my videos in the past kind of feel that way and I kind of want to get back to me I think taking this hiatus from YouTube and just moving uh, back home to Portland Oregon and then coming back here to San Jose there was just a lot going on in my head and I was doing a lot of growing in the process Patrick and I have been growing a lot as a couple and just kind of building our little family with Dublin and I think we've done a lot in the realm of soul searching and we have just been trying to find our groove, find who we are, figure out who we are outside of college and I think filming all of that uh, right off the bat was a, a big shift for me. So I'm very excited to kind of shift my YouTube style a little bit as I kind of find who I am and find what content I want to create and put out there on the internet. So today is just a day in my life vlog. We have a few things going on. We are taking a few bags of donations to um, a church in San Francisco that does a lot of uh, free clothing kits with cosmetics and skincare, body wash, stuff like that. Uh, for people that need it and uh, as we kind of unpacked our new place and we've been settling into our new apartment which we ab absolutely love and as we've kind of been unpacking we've been going through things that we don't want things that we don't need as we were doing that we were putting things in bags and now we're going to take it to this church you have to do uh, online appointment at least a week in advance so we did it last week it's like an hour drive to this church it's kind of far but i think it's worth it i read a lot of amazing reviews on their mission and how they're really helping the san francisco community 
and I love organizations like this so I'm excited to go and check it out. We're also trying to see if we can be volunteers for this so um, stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys posted if you're in this area and you're interested in the whole process. But that is our big outing I guess. We also have groceries, stuff like that and just more cleaning. I have to do more laundry. I feel like since we got here laundry has not stopped. Our laundry our washing machine is a little bit smaller than what we've had in the past, so I feel like I do more loads just because it's smaller. And then um, we have to do just some weekly cleaning, wash the sheets, showers, toilets, all that fun stuff. So let's go. It is the day before we head out. I am wearing this spring flowy dress from a store that was on 23rd Street in Portland, and I think the name was Sloan. Really love it. It's super comfy and flowy. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my high top platform Converse. drop off the donations and we also went to go get a couple groceries for the week so I'm going to put them away organize the refrigerator and stuff and kind of prep things for the week I like to do that on Sundays just to have our produce good to go because throughout the week since we work from home we're just we work until odd hours so um, we tend to get pretty lazy when it comes to dinner time so I find that it's best if we just have all the groceries ready and prepped so I'm going to start cutting them up and putting them into containers and just have them ready to go. I think that's the best thing that we have found that works for us. There are a couple things that I will leave until like the day of that will probably not um, do well in a container cut up and stuff so uh, it just kind of depends but I'll show you guys kind of what I'm up to. As I've been putting away groceries I've been listening to Bad Bunny, absolutely love him so much. <laughs> and I thought I would just kind of throw this in here. And um, yeah, let me know down below if you guys got tickets to see him live because um, Patrick and I haven't, we thought about it, but we just didn't want to get tickets when we kind of don't know what's going on with the pandemic and everything. So. We didn't get them this time around, but I still love to listen to him and he always just gets me in like a really pumped up mood and motivated. So I'm going to listen to him while I clean up the apartment and stuff. And um, yeah, getting one of these carts for um, groceries and stuff, especially if you live in an apartment building that has a lot of floors like us, we have um, we live on a higher floor so we definitely don't want to be carrying up groceries and stuff from our cars so we really like this cart we actually got it for when we moved in to be able to carry all like the little decorations that we had but we ended up using it for groceries and we just went to uh, a couple stores and then um i like to reuse bags from like target or um we have this reusable bag that we use a lot but i really think that most of these hold up for a lot of grocery runs so we do that if we ever forget a bag somewhere and they give us one we end up just 
holding on to it and using it it's pretty hefty so going to put all of this away strawberries and also watermelon we ended up putting some in some mason jars with this little ball scooper majigger and we're gonna put those in the fridge and then i'm gonna cut these up except for the blueberries obviously and put them in mason jars as well do the same thing another pro tip that i want to share is putting your meal plan on your fridge so you can see it every single day and without a doubt you will Try your best to make the meals that are on this meal plan because you'll see it every time you open up the fridge. So uh, that's what we like to do. We do Monday through Sunday meal plan and it's kind of rough. Uh, usually breakfast is, it changes because um, sometimes we'll have early meetings and we'll kind of just forget to eat breakfast. But uh, other than that, it's pretty standard. And then we do our grocery list on the bottom and then on the top, I like to do like protein, carbs, fats, and list uh, ingredients that we want to incorporate in our meals throughout the week. So this is a nice, clear, easy way to do your um, meal plan and make sure you stick to it. What you talking about? There ain't nothing like the real thing. Talking about the real 